What's up guys, Nightingale here, and welcome to another Beginner's Handbook video. Today, I'm talking about energy management. Now, with all of the crazy amount of buffs that we've had during the um, last couple weekends, it is time for me, I think, to help y'all out, because I know it's been a strain on me, and I know how to manage my energy, but for those of you who are newer and not knowing how to manage it, or have just started getting a little past you know, the true beginner state and are starting to actually go grinding for gear or wanting to grind AP and things like that. I wanted to help you manage your energy so that you can utilize it a little bit more efficient and understand how to do it. So we're going to talk about the actual energy, how to manage it, how to store it and when to use it, when to burn it and when to use leaves and things like that. So let's start with the energy cap. So you can see right here that my energy is 60 out of 154. Now, in 6 hours and 15 minutes from now, I will hit energy cap. Thank you, Smilegate, for giving me a timer to let me know exactly when this is going to be full. Really, it does kind of actually be a little bit helpful. Because if you don't, if you want to constantly be regenerating, regenerating energy, it is better to know when it's going to be up so you know when to play. Now, not everybody has the time to be able to sit and, you know, micromanage their energy, but there's a good chance you can consistently keep this on a regenerating schedule. Now, there are times where it's going to be at cap and it's not a big deal. Just, it's, it's, it's okay. So, the practice is, is that you don't want it to go over. So if it's at 155 slash 154, we're not regenerating any energy because we are technically over cap. If we're at 154 out of 154, we're not regenerating any energy. So therefore, in technicality, we are losing out on energy. But it's okay. There are many other things to do to worry about besides getting overcapped. Now, I have accounts that are sitting overcapped, but it's just because I don't play them and I just keep collecting the daily energy. Someday, they may actually see their uh, regeneration uh, counters. But let's talk about where to get the excess energy from when that does run out. The first big one is the web event. It always has an event and it's going to have some sort of mini game to play. Now, they think they're being cheeky and quite clever with some of these things, but honestly, it, it is what it is, and you'll see what we're talking about. You're always guaranteed 200 energy no matter what you do. Great. So every day you get a free 200 energy from coming in and participating on this. How do you earn it? Play the game. Do stuff. Do stuff, any of the things up here above. Do it, and you will gain the currency to be able to hit the complete button. They're easy milestones to reach and honestly it doesn't take very long playing the game to be able to get all 200 energy. Now you can see here there are some tickets which allows you to come down here and spin the wheel. In this case we are completing the moon cycle. Yay. But hey, honestly I'm not going to be hating here because the rewards here are actually pretty good. It's a bunch of charms which is great. Gold, which is great, Phantasmas, which is great, and the best part of all, 80 energy every time you hit this guy, which is phenomenal. Now, right now, my luck is between two on a good day, three on a great day, or one on a really bad day of me getting the energy proc here. Now, that's 80 energy every time we hit this one. Now, what happens when we click the receive the reward down here, the, the full moon reward? Well, you've got a chance for gold, I think Phantasmas, some charms, and the bigger one are the leaf ones. So that's pretty cool. Now you come down here to the bonus reward. Molagoras is basically what this is here for, and a free unequip, uh, which I will briefly uh, hit this just while we're here, is in order to, the best way to, the best practice for this is wait till it's about to expire about the day before um, maintenance uh, for it. So in eight days, so in seven days, I will claim this ticket and it will sit in my mailbox for six days or until I need it. Or I'll claim it if I absolutely need it. But we just got off of a 10-day free unequip, so I don't really need this right now. Um, but now, here's the last one. Now, once a web event, once a web event, you can get free extra 60 energy. Yes. I would give them an honest rating, and I tell them better energy than before. Great. Some of them are absolute crap at giving energy. Some of them you'll get garbage. I mean, it's like uh, random uh, sword charms all the time. It's like... Great, I have 100 sword charms, but I could totally use, like, boot charms, but you're just giving me sword charms. But I think this one has been tuned out a little bit better, personally. So, yeah, you can get energy from here. The next one is just a banner over. So, the event news. Now, 
I know a lot of you hate being advertised to. You are strong believers in ad block and everything possible of not watching ads, but hey, it's a free 100 energy for watching ads. So I'm gonna sit here and make you watch an ad while I explain why this is advantageous. Now, here's the thing. This ad is probably gonna run for about a solid 30 seconds. And that's okay. So you're gonna get a hundred free energy for watching five ads. Sometimes the ads are 30 seconds, sometimes they're 45 seconds, sometimes they are the uh, best ones are the instant skip in five seconds, which there's normally a little bar down there below. But watching ads, that's a free hundred energy a day for doing absolutely nothing. I've sat here and talked to you through the entire ad. We've got seven seconds left and you could technically play their little game, but there's no point because let's be real, I will never play this game ever. If you're that type of bored person and you want to play it while you wait, cool. Well, here's my chance to get out. Click the arrow. Now we're going to wait another few seconds, and there will be another arrow right there because they changed how these work, and bang, right there. Two out of five energy. You can do this three more times for me. So there you go. Energy is now been collected. Now where did it go? It is in the mailbox. So as you can see right here from the ad energy right here, and I should have one a little bit further down, or I may have already used that today. I think I've already used it because I was uh, using it to pop something else, and I wanted to save some energy because I knew I was going to make this video. But you can see I have the uh, energy saved up from the uh, mini game, and um, also some purchased energy, which we'll talk about in a minute. So we're not done yet. There's more energy to be had. Now, here's the cool benefit of being in a guild. Being in a guild, depending on where you're at, you're at least gonna always receive the 50 energy a day from donating Proofs of Courage. Now, this is why I stress this in all of the guilds here is that I want you donating three minimum because this keeps the positive influx of these coming in and we always can use them. Plus, we always wanna be able to pop the bonus chest. Um, could be good, could be garbage. I mean, Brave Crest or Brave Crest, but let's be real, there can be Sky Stones in this thing. So it's pretty worth. Um, the one that we don't pop as often, but I will, as you can see, we have 16 million in Plot Hunter. I do pop this, but I'm only popping this when we know buffs are coming or buff weekend is coming to maximize our energy. Because in times like this, I have already dropped this 7 mil just in the last week. Now, sure, we're constantly gaining gold, but it's not something completely 100% sustainable to consistently donate this. So you're at least guaranteed 50, but depending on where you're at and what guild you're in, you're guaranteed you could be up to um, 80 energy a day from the guild. Most important though, it's best to do it just when hunt buffs are up or, or when you're getting close to a buff weekend. That's the best time to do it. Other than that, it's 30 energy, and if your guild's tight on money, you need to save it for guild buffs because this is 800 a day and this is basically your your entire buffs in one so you can get 80 from your guild but wait there's more that's right there is more now because everybody should be getting friendship at some point or another if you don't need to add friends start spamming friends every time it says add a friend add a friend or go make friends come out hang out on streams ask people i know we try to help out as many people as we can because getting op friends is great having op friends means you're gonna have OP units that when your unit dies, they're gonna carry you through the entire fight. Now, I remember my first few months where I needed those more than anything to help me beat content. Now, as I've established my account, I never see those units pop up, but hey, if something randomly dies, cool, I've got an OP unit in the back. Or some days, it's your unit. Now, so here you go, 100 friendship. Very easy to get, you get this almost passively. I get 100 friendship easily a day on accounts I don't even play from people randomly using my Roz. I'm sorry to that random person that is using my ungeared Roz. <laughs> but hey, thanks for the uh, friendship. So you get uh, 40 energy a day here. But wait, there's more. Now this one, this one I'm a little sketchy on because I don't do arena nearly as much as I should. Some people may not struggle with this at all, but there is 120 energy here for 90 conquest points. It's 90 conquest points, and as you can see, I am broke. I somehow managed to earn enough a week to buy the Molagora seed, and uh, I've also spent some because I've been buying gear. So my my uh, brave crests are or conquest points are way lower than they should be but the season's about to end so i'm about to get a decent handful from this so 120 energy here now we talk about the actual 
leaves versus sky stones. Now, you will hear the uber whales talk about using sky stones. If you do not own every unit in the game, don't ever consider using sky stones for energy, no matter how desperate you are. Why? Because that's more likely guaranteed to get you the unit than it is to get you a good piece of gear. So, I don't find value in wasting Sky Stones for 60 energy, especially 30. Oh, heck no. Do you know how many bookmarks I've gotten in 30 Sky Stones? A lot. So, yeah, no. But, leaves are given to you for a lot of events. That's the cool thing. Uh, they give these out fairly regularly. They should probably be giving them out a little bit more, especially if they're going to be pushing out these type of events. Um, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's 80 energy for a leaf. Crap, they could, you know, do this pretty easily you know if they wanted to you know like once a week give out like five leaves would be huge but here's the thing they are actually a little more generous than it seems and i'll explain why in a second but these leaves are just stackable it's a currency that goes away it has no it has no limitation to it so you can technically store an infinite amount of these things i know people who can barely keep five and i know people who have 500 so it really just depends on how and where you are in the game but this is the most common place to gain extra energy a day. And now I want to talk about where to really burn these. So here's the thing. We've all been caught, you know, where we're sitting there going, a mission pops up and it's going, hey, refresh for seven energy or five energy. And you're going, I don't have any energy and I'm out of energy and I want to refresh this. Yeah, we pop leaves for this. It sucks, but that happens occasionally. If you can avoid it, avoid it. If not, do it. All right, but the best car the best common practice for using leaves is to use it during hunt buffs or a buff weekend or if you're really just trying to grind out a side story or a special event they had an advent thing that took an absurd amount of energy to beat and get the shop cleared out if you're not worried about clearing out shops then you probably don't need this because we did a lot of calculations especially with the advent thing i think it was going to take like six days of full max daily energy that you could get for free out of the game to completely buy out the shop it's just it's a lot of micromanaging and some people just want it over and done with there are certain times side stories where i'll try to burn it out in a day or two just so i don't have to deal with it for the rest of the two weeks and i can focus on other things but that's typically the spot where you want to use leaves is for content like that or content where you want to walk away for a long repeatable time because your pets are set up to repeat and you can set your pets to use leaves and sky stones or both don't recommend both. Now, remember me saying they've been—they're a little more generous than it may seem. That's right. So if we come here and we scroll down, you see GM Arky. Your gift has arrived, and it was 18 hours ago. A hundred energy. That's right. Every day, GM Arky around 4 p.m. my time on the East Coast, GM Arky drops a hundred energy into the GM mailbox, and it's good for seven days. So. Arky here can give you a great supply of energy daily or weekly, depending on how you use it. Now, for me, I typically hold on to my GM Arky energy when there's not events till it's about to expire. So we'll get down to the you know 24-hour clock on it, and I'll pop it that day. The reason being is this way I always have that excess of 600, maybe 700 energy ready to go for important things. But here's the caveat. Because I know the typical rotations of how things are going to come, we know that side stories typically come in two-week intervals. This one happens to be a three-week one. We know that hunt buffs are typically once a month. I know kind of where to start storing and hoarding my energy. And that's the next and kind of final point here is how to hoard your energy. As you can see, I have energy in here. And you can also see that I haven't talked about this one because I'm saving it for the end. The way you want to store your energy is technically you want to use your last first and you never want to claim all. No matter how bad it bugs you to see a ping up there, never collect all your energy because once you're overcapped, you don't earn any more. How I go about it is once I've been through a buff weekend and I know that there's nothing coming for the rest of the week or the next two weeks or three weeks due to how the schedules are, I'm going to go and burn most of my daily energy that day just burn through it why because it only has a seven day timer and typically we know in advance that we know 
okay, typically it's towards the end of the month, there's a hunt buff. But recently, like I said, with all the changes, that's kind of been thrown off schedule. But when things resume back to a normal pace, we'll be able to go to say, okay, yeah, here in a month, and I know I can burn for the next two weeks, I can burn all my energy. Then the next week, I gotta be careful just in case they do drop it early or late, depending on where they wanna put it. I'll kind of be a little more cautious. But then once I do know, it's complete horde mode, and I don't spend any of my excess energy because I would rather get the most use out of it because those buffs are pretty significant it's 50 percent more ap it's 50 percent more crafting materials it's extra gold it's extra runes it's whatever you're trying to farm it's way more worth to burn it during that cycle than not now if you have to go grind a unit out go grind a unit out don't just wait for these events or you'll never get anything done so that's not what i'm trying to say is only grind during these events it's the most optimal use of it now i said i'm going to talk about it here at the end of the video and that is the paid energy. This is one of the most value items in the game. If you're gonna spend money on the game, it is this. For $10 a month, you can get 70 energy for free a day, plus extra gold, and you get 400 sky stones immediately. Why is this important? Because this typically stacks up for about 27 days of free permanent energy that won't go anywhere. Till your mailbox is capped, it can store the energy, which is great. So this is a great value buy for people who want to spend lightly in a game and lightly support it. This is this is easily better than a World of Warcraft subscription. Actually, you can even add this in and it still be cheaper than most of your WoW subscriptions. Okay, not really. It's slightly more expensive. But it's my diss at WoW. Why not? It's old. It needs to die. So in this one, you get Hero EXP and Skystones Daily. This... It, it helps. I get them. I've got both of them. Um, but that's it. That's I don't have any other recurring subscriptions in games. This is the only one. So I look at it that way. So why is that advantageous? Because it can sit in there and it's that is the only energy I will not touch until hunt buffs. That's right. That is the only one that once there is a hunt buff, will I pop that energy. Because this way it saves me almost a day of leaves to not have to... Uh, to, to finally touch that and not use my leaves for an entire day. That's great. That means that gives me an entire other day of hunt buffs when they do all the buffs to go in and burn all my leaves. Because I've got three, two working one-shot teams and one, it wants to be called a one-shot team, but yet it's it needs to be speed-tuned. So that's why I say use it there. Now, this is a lot of information on energy and it's, can be kind of confusing, but I've tried to make it as simple as possible on how to manage it and where's the best place to use it. Grind when you have to, don't wait. If you've got a new unit and they're really cool and you want to work on them, go work on them. Don't wait for a buff event. But I will say, if you are going to be trying to grind out runes for like a specialty change or something like that, wait for a hunt buff. That's kind of brutal on your energy just to jump in and try to do that. But if it's, you need to go get a couple of runes to six star awaken your unit or to go four star awaken it or go get a catalyst or two, go do that. That's completely fine. Burn a leaf here, burn a leaf there. I'll do that in automaton tower just to get through with it in a day. I'll do that in a sign story just to get it over with because I know I'm gonna get it back in another reward. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you guys have any questions about how to manage it or if something quite didn't make sense, just hit me up in the comments below. I'll be happy to help out and I'll see you guys in the next one.